everyone, and welcome to episode 35 of My Mom Sandy. We are your hosts. I am Josh Fasten, and the woman next to me set up a small sweatshop in our podcast studio to manufacture medical cloth face masks. If you need one, shoot her an email, mymomsandypodcast at gmail.com. She'll hook you up. This is My Mom Sandy. Yes, they're not medical. They're just cloth. But it's actually quite a good re- uh, recipe, quite a good pattern. It's for, uh, it's, um, it's double cloth, and then there's a little space where you can actually put in like a paper towel as your filter or a vacuum cleaner filter. I guess that's what you told me people are using. Some people, yeah. yeah. And you've been working hard on these. So how, how, um, how, much time does it take you to do a single mask? What, what do you have? Because obviously you've been working on this for the past couple of nights, so you're probably pretty good at this by this point. But no, I'm actually, I'm not. I'm, what, I'm getting better. What have you gotten a single mask down to, out of curiosity? I Actually, I'm doing them kind of on an assembly line type deal where, I, uh, where I'll do like five and I'll do the same step for all five mm-hmm. and then go on to the next step and so on. So I don't really know. what On it, average. I have no idea. It's taken me a while. Per mask, f- are we looking at like four, four hours, five minutes? <laughs> four hours per mask, no big deal. I have nothing else to do, right? So you found a hobby in all this? Yeah, it's called making masks. It's good. Actually, I saw my my mother's healthcare worker today, and she liked the the white one that I had. She even liked the fabric. She said, "Oh yeah, make me one like that." I said, "Okay, you got said, it." Said, "I'll see you in four and a half days." <laughs> That's right. When it's I- done. Well, I've actually I've got most of it done. I just have to do the pleats in it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now I've seen a couple. I've been up here to watch you work on these masks a little bit, and I think one of my favorite um, times was I think it was yesterday. You had you had two masks that you were working on, and you um, you had uh, done like the you'd cut the fabric and you'd sewed them, but you uh, hadn't. And, like, and, then, it up. and then you looked at him. You go, <clears throat> oh, fuck. oh, I fucked this up. I had to take all the I had to take all the seams out. Sorry that my bottle is it's okay. my water bottle is it's a water bottle expanding and and contracting contracting. Um, yeah, I had to take all the seams out because I forgot the way I make it is that you actually turn it inside out. Mm, you have to so, start inside out. So you have to so you have to start when you sew your first seams. You have to start with your the right side of your fabric on the right side of the fabric and I had sewn it the other way, the opposite way. So if I had turned it inside out, then the fabric would have actually been inside out. Do you remember years ago, I, uh, for a while I made purses Yes, I and I sold them at, at garage sales that we had. Did you sell them? I think I sold one. Uh, I, it was more of, I, I made a bunch. I was ahead of my time. I made, I bought fabric. You were like fucking weird. I mean, that was like weird. I don't know why. You, why did you even start doing that? I don't know. I thought maybe I could get girls, you know? By making them purses? There's, I mean, look. Hey, I, little in, girl, you want a purse? You want a pretty purse? In my head, it was like there was Louis Vutton. There was Gucci. There Louis was, Vutton. There was Chris Tyon Dyer. <laughs> and then I figured, you know, jo- old, Josh old Fasten. Little, little Josh Fasten from <laughs> down the street. There you go. You know? Perfect. But I'd get fabric. I'd make them. They were lined, and then I would. And then the strap was a, a tie, a necktie. Yeah, cutting fucking edge, huh? Yeah, I, I don't think they'd go over well these days. But, but I, I learned that you had to make them. Like I remember, I made one, and I was like, and I, I like turned it inside out, and I was like, oh, looks better that way. And that was how I figured out that you had to make them. Yeah, inside there, out. Yeah, there's a there's a way to do stuff like that. I mean, if you you know if you're just using plain old white fabric, it doesn't really matter. But if you've got fabric that's got a pattern on one side and not on the other, yeah, then uh, yeah. So yeah, so I'm hoping I've got like five masks that are ready for the pleats, and that'll be the finishing touch. And you're sending those out to the healthcare workers, or well, no, I'm going to give I'm going to give one to the to our healthcare worker. I'm probably going to send a couple up to Sam, and then you need a couple. And then, uh, and then I need a couple. I mean, let's be honest, I don't really leave the house. You don't go out of the yeah, house. Yeah, so I don't really know if I need a, a couple of masks. Seems, yeah, well, seems like a lot. Excuse me. Get the burps. Yes. Burpy burps. So let's talk about exciting news. Um, Which part? Which part of the exciting news? So today is, we're recording this late on a Monday. 
Yes. We had some very exciting things happen last week in God, quarantine. I wonder, did we do our uh, podcast last Monday night? Maybe that's when it happened. No one even knows what we're talking about. What happened? I know. Tell, uh, tell the, our think? faithful. Uh, no, because I don't think we, I think we recorded Sunday. I know you took the trash out at 9.30. Oh, we yeah, recorded my... Sunday night with, with my cousin Brian. Hi, my cousin Brian. Oh, that's right. Thanks for coming on the, on the podcast last yeah, week, buddy. Yeah, it was nice That was great. You. So tell everyone what happened. Uh, my car got stolen. The, the, the trusty, fantastic wagon. The car I use for my business, the Honda wagon, station wagon, yeah. Got right out of the driveway. Right out of the driveway. Right out of the driveway. Didn't hear a thing, no broken windows, no, no, no. Well, there could have been a broken, we don't know. There was no broken windows. Oh, well, I didn't hear any bro- glass breaking. No. Pro- I've heard, as you have heard, that they can jimmy the Honda, the old Hondas. What year? What year? Jimmy. Year? What is a Jimmy? What does that mean? They can. Uh, I mean, I've, they people can say shaved it. shaved keys. What the fuck is shaved key? You what take a, a you take a you take a car key, yeah. and then you you put a little bit of you loop it up a little it's shave cream, cream, and then you take a Mach three and you just and you razor down, it off, and that's, that's a shaved, shaved that's a shaved, a shaved tea key. key. No, tea seriously, key? do you know what a shaved key is? Uh, no, no, I don't. But I've heard either. I've heard screwdrivers. I've heard you can get in. anybody Anybody knows what a shaved key is? Put it post it on Instagram or. Yeah, our faithful audience that does everything we the, tell them to do. Well, that doesn't ever listen uh, to us. Yeah. Our faithful Thanks, audience. Thanks, everyone. I'm like, hey, I'm like, can you guys just shoot us a message and let us know you guys are still listening? And nothing. Nothing. Um, Dead silence. Did you speaking of death? So the car's gone. Car's gone. Do you think at all that it could have been an inside job? <laughs> I don't know. Did you steal it? I actually did not. No. Okay, and I didn't either. So okay. I'm thinking not an inside job. Got it. But uh, do we know exactly? Though I mean, here's a question, right? Real, real, real talk. Do we know where my friend Peter was on Monday night, going into Tuesday morning? I have no idea. Okay, it might not be a is bad idea a, to look into. Is him. he a car thief? He likes Honda wagons. He does. He likes the room. He says they're very roomy. Get out. This is just a test to see if he's listening. Oh. Because then he'll, because that either not. He'll shoot you a text. Well, he'll, no, he'll like call me. He'll be like, come on, man. Really? You think I'm like, steal the car? I'm going to steal the car? But if I talk to him in a couple of days and he's just like, hey, man, what's up? I'm like, oh, you didn't listen. You didn't listen again. to the podcast. Like, you know. I know. I catch people like that all the time. Like, what's his name with the penguins? Remember we talked about what's that his last name? week? Yeah. I almost said his name. I literally, it was, it, it, was, it was about right to come there out. On your, on well, and then you, your time. you had like the pharmacy people that you were like, Hey, pharmacy people, listen oh, to my yeah. podcast. Oh, yeah. 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 Shout then, out to the far, to the Ralph's And you're like, hey, b- hey, Jenny and, and Jacob, you know, what are their names at, at the pharmacy? Uh, yeah. Robert. Gavin. Gavin and oh, Gavin. Eric. Gavin and Eric. Model. Models. The Model boys. Gavin and Eric. Uh, that's about it. Does Model ever drink Modelo? I don't know. Wouldn't that be interesting? It's a woman, by the way. Oh. Does Model uh, ever drink Modelo? <laughs> I don't know. I'm okay. sure they don't listen anyway. So, so the car's say gone. whatever you want. The so car's gone. So here's the interesting thing about the, the, about the car was that so we have a ring doorbell. Yes. We had the motion sensors. See, the problem is the angle it captures a lot of traffic that drives by. Right. So we had shrunk down. Because we were kind of more concerned with porch pirates, like a Nancy neighbor stealing the, right. the goods, the goodies, right. the goodie bags. Or just knowing when somebody – like, do you, do you know I got my ch- my Chewy shipment this morning? And chewy. Did you even look? I've, uh, no, because now it – I mean, we get notifications every four and a half minutes now. I know, but now how do we even know? You go, back, mean, you go back and you look at history. I know, but what I'm saying is that – I mean, I get the notifications too. The only good thing is that I don't get the bling, the ring. What time did they come this morning? I don't know. Today. I left at uh, I know. Fuck. I left at like eleven thirty. It was there. So I don't know. I'm gonna say, t- you know, ten thirty, eleven ish. I have no idea. I mean, I guarantee it's on here. It's okay, finding that's not it. it. Yeah, it's all right. Ten twenty four, maybe. Maybe. No, that was a man and a woman pushing a stroller. Oh yeah. Ten nineteen, maybe. I know. Mm, Isn't it crazy? That's not it. Yeah, so now we've expanded. So now we've expanded. So you guys nope, know. That's a truck. <laughs> 938. <laughs> just so you nope, know. That was a, that you want to get on our ring doorbell, just drive by the house <laughs> or walk by the house. Rodman, we saw you the other day. No, just kidding. <laughs> um, 926. Nope, that was a. 
Was a four what door the fuck sedan. time did it come? 8.57? Nope. 8.49? People are going to be like, what in the... F-? Like, if they just fast forward, and it, no, that's a woman walking with groceries. 8.34? Did it come no. that early? So if it didn't come at 8.34... Did it come at, like, 11? Is there something at 11? Mm, was there something at 11? I can't imagine they would have delivered. It's FedEx. They don't ever deliver. Not 11.33. 11.36? No, that was probably me leaving. Oh, that was you leaving? Yeah. And Which, by the way, I, I went today for my second uh, Ralph's. Let, let Ralph's do the shopping for you. What a fucking rip that is. Are you seeing me bring the package in? I'll look. We'll find it. So, uh, so we had, we had we had done the motion settings on the doorbell to focus more on the very front, the threshold, the of threshold the door, of yeah. the seventh circle of hell that we call the the house, the seventh circle of hell, and the way that you would have the car parked, it was backed into the the driveway, so the the driver's door were closer to the end of the driveway. So, um, we didn't get it on the ring doorbell. But what was what I found interesting was that the car was there uh, Monday night, Tuesday morning was gone, Tuesday midday you went outside I think twice. No, see that's the thing. You people came to the, the people came to the door. I had to take care of some stuff. People came to the door, but we social distanced, so I really didn't get to the door frame. I was really inside the house. I didn't really notice it. The only time I would have noticed it was when I walked out to give somebody a check at like 2.30 in the afternoon. And I didn't even, I didn't, I was focused on that conversation and that incident. I wasn't focused on whether or not the car was there or not, but the car was gone. And it wasn't until, that was Tuesday. It wasn't until Wednesday when you walked out and you said, Mom, where's the Honda? And I had just read on the Ring post that another, a 96 Honda in the neighborhood had been stolen the night before. And I, and so I, so I read that and then you go, Mom, where's your Honda? And I'm like, get out of here, Josh. You know, I just read that. And it was funny because I was like, did, I wonder if she took the Honda somewhere. You know what I'm saying? The other weird thing is I just, I literally just checked. We do not see on the, so now, so we expanded. Like you said, we expanded all the motion. Yeah. So now, I mean, if you drive by yeah. on our street, we'll see your car. Yeah. I don't see the Chewy guy deliver the Chewy box. I know. That's what I'm saying. But how did it get delivered? I don't know. Drone? <laughs> I mean, think Do they, about- you think they have a drone that goes from the truck to the... I mean, where was the FedEx truck? We didn't even see a FedEx no. truck out there. That's fucking weird. I'm sorry. I think there's something wrong with Ring. I mean, it's like, I mean, look at all the the bullshit stuff that it does report to you and the important stuff. Somebody stole my fucking car. Oh, no, not on video. So Peter Peter was telling me because we had talked about it. He has a Nest doorbell. Yeah. And I guess that records like 24-7. Yeah. So you can, so if anything happens, you can like, I think, you know, it's, well, you just go back on the day and you can just like swipe and, f- and find your thing. Yeah. And I said, oh, not ring. Ring records for 30 seconds when it's motion triggered. Yeah. So if you of- want, we can, we can trade out for the nest. Or if we want, we can just go to Peter's. We can screw, unscrew his out of the doorbell. Yeah. Why don't we just steal his? That's what I'm saying. And then give, put the ring in there. See how long it takes him to notice. Yeah, as soon as it doesn't show up on his phone, he'll notice. It'll show up. It'll be our driveway. <laughs> he'll be like, what if I seek Josh's house for? Like, is that Josh taking my trash out? Yeah, that doesn't seem sure right. Sure the hell is. So. Yeah, uh, so that's fun. So I had to do, I had to call the police. I had to do a police report online, uh, print it up, fill it out. And then the, the police called me at like Wednesday. Well, what happened was I sent it in like late Wednesday afternoon to the police department and they um and later that night I checked my emails and it hadn't been delivered because I had sent it to the wrong email address so I had to resend it which I did about 10 o'clock at night so the police the gentleman that I was speaking with at the police department called me at like 2 in the morning and it's like I said to him I said well it's a good thing 
I kind of lied. I said it's a good thing we're we're on self quarantine. I said because normally I wouldn't be up at this time. Typically, I've got to go to bed to get ready for work. That's right. Uh, but he, you, you said know. he was kind of like like a little flirty with you on the phone. <laughs> it was like he was weird. Well, like we had you know we did this whole long conversation and then. And I was like trying to get in the shower because I wanted to shower that yeah, before were. I went to bed that night. You felt so. a little, you felt a little dirty, huh? I felt very dirty. No, I think I had changed my sheets that day. And so I wanted to go to bed clean. So, um, so anyway, I, I had the shower turned on and then, you know, and you know he what called I- and I, so I took the call and it was like, I'm going to say probably 10 or 15 minutes. And so, okay. So I, so got off the phone with him, got in the shower. The phone rings again. It's probably 10 minutes after the first call. So I answer the phone while I'm in the shower this time because I'm like stopping wet. It's like, I'm not getting out. I'm not, you know. Of course not. And so. He, wait, wait, when you, when you, when he called the first time, how did you, like, were you like fantastic cappuccino? No, I was hello. Were you like. Hello. Did you do the Shoshana? Sexy, sexy voice, Sandy. Were you like, hey. Hey, who's calling? Oh, oh is this it's about the police? Them? Oh, gee, I'm sorry. That's not how I wanted to present myself. And then you were like, as a street walking. He's like, oh, this whore. is this is Detective Sh- 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 Smith. And you were like, Genoa, Genoa, Genoa. And you were like, oh, hi, Detective. Genoa. I've been naughty. No, Did you say that? At no, all? I didn't say oh, that. Okay, got no, it. No, got we it. just had, we just had. So anyway, so he called me back. I was in the shower. I, he had one one question, and I. So he answered it. I don't know what it was. And then I'm going to tell you 10, 15 minutes later, he called back third time. And I, when I answered, he the, liked what he was, uh, what I he know. Was hearing. He must have liked my voice. When I answered the phone, I said to him, I said, I'm going to tell you right now, this is the last time I'm answering the phone today because I have to go to bed. He goes, Oh, I'm so glad that you're answering the phone. I said, Yeah, you are. <laughs> did he, did yeah, he, you are. Did he ever ask you like what you were wearing when you found out that the car was missing? He did. What'd you say? I said, I think that's an inappropriate question. You were like, oh, just a pair of pantyhose. and Pantyhose. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Did, um, did, I think that you could have, and you know, you kind of shut this down before, but I think that you could make a little side money doing some phone sex stuff. Uh, this might be a good time to get into that. That's too. what I'm saying. Yeah. Because you know, people are, people are. Yeah, my nose is stuffy. I know. Give I us, know give us a little, a, give us a little taste. Give us a corona. little, give us a little something. Well, you know, I didn't talk about it last week, but I was on, I was on antibiotics for seven days for an ear infection, right? Because I've had this post nasal drip, and then it creates fluid in my ears, which creates a wonderful environment for bacteria to grow, aka ear infection. That's exactly what I said. So ear infection. So anyway, so I still have that going on with my nose. I think it's the wind and the allergies, the pollens in the air. The house has been very windy lately, hasn't it? No. So windy in here. Just outdoors is windy. But windy. what do you think? Just because the house is closed up that I mean, we do have that sliding glass door open at times. Do you think the pollen doesn't come in the house? I don't know. I mean, Kali's been having more asthma attacks lately. I'm living a life of of uh, of uh, solidarity, solitary, solidarity, solidarity. <laughs> when mean, you're talking about changing your sheets, my sheets aren't even on my bed anymore. They're just like I get in and I just roll like a burrito. Yeah, and I just roll up and I just sleep like that. <laughs> no wonder you can't sleep. You're but having trouble sleeping, aren't you? It's horrible. This is whole thing. I mean, stress. It's, <clears throat> I don't. You know, I don't know what it is. I think. Um, you're going stir crazy. I know. It's like, I, I'll tell you, I went on Saturday to my mom's briefly, and then I dropped off some food at what's his name's house. And I was driving home, and it was like, man, I just got super depressed. Oh, I'm, like, I'm like, ex- I mean, I'm not, I don't know if I would say extremely depressed, but like, I'm definitely not happy. Like, I'm not, I'm not. No, um, it's like, it's like, this is like, I mean, I'm, I'm driving and I'm watching. I'm everywhere I look. Everybody's got a mask on. It looks like China or Taiwan or Japan where they, where they wear masks all the time. It was. And now we know why. Stupid people. Oh, by the way, I just heard tonight on the news that the Chinese government is refusing to let anybody investigate the origins of the coronavirus. I was going to tell you that. I saw that too. 
And well played, because, China. Well really, played. Because they think that they seriously, they don't want it to come out that it was created by them. Look, they it, don't think it. They, we don't think it's the wet market. Okay, here's where the they thing. Eat here, all okay, the look, 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 look. pangolins right, right, and right. the bats and all that crap. Here's the thing. I have a funny thing I need to show you in a moment. Here's the thing. One of two things. Well, there could be multiple things that cause this, but let's just focus on two main theories. I use the finger, the finger move. The, the, you mean the quotes? The quotes, the finger quotes. The finger quotes. Let's focus on one of two theories. Theory A is that, and this is where Sandy Fast and Private Investigator I'm sorry, comes but I just don't think this water tastes that good. But. That's great. Is it cold? Do you have it cold? Yeah. It just kind of has a weird aftertaste. Do you want me to put a little... Um, a little bio steel in it? No, I noticed, and I noticed that the other day. I have a here. Bottle, try mine. I have a bottle. No, I have a bottle. Here, try, I licked no, the. No, stop oh, it! Stop it! I have a bottle by my on my nightstand by my bed, and it's. I, we're using the pure uh, water purifier, so the water in the bottle is not like brand spanking new. But I took a drink the other night, and I'm like, oh my god, what am I drinking? It was like gross. Well, what was Are you funny, poisoning me or what? What's funny was that I actually replaced that with a little bit of uh, uh, pee pee water. <laughs> pee pee water? <laughs> Good, because I love pee pee water. Yeah. How did you get it to so clear though? <laughs> so, it's it's literally a micro doses. I'm micro dosing you pee pee water. I need to open a Dasani. Ooh, Dasani's. You know what Dasani is, right? Dasani yeah. is tap water. That is it's been purified it's been with purified pure, and then <laughs> ran, pure filter. Yep, yep. Good, and then sealed in a bottle. Sealed. Perfect. I, so the the I will say that the the pure water filter. I mean, I, we cut back on. Uh, it's a huge saving of plastic. Um, but the th- I could give a shit. About, I know, but you don't go fucking ahead. care. Yeah. But um, I will say that I th- I think um, like I've sometimes had like a glass out like this filled with water. And uh, if it if it gets like room temperature yeah. and I take a sip, I'm just yeah. kind of yeah, kind of. I know that's. But I like it. I mean, like I think it, t- I think it tastes fine cold. It's totally yeah. doable. Yeah, I um, was gonna say, and maybe that that by my nightstand is because it's room temp, but it's like, oh, like I te- it was like, oh my god, I'd rather drink it right out of the fucking tap than drink this mm, bottled water. No, definitely not. And then I usually like I'll I'll use this bio steel um, hydration stuff because I put that in sometimes because I usually don't drink. I don't think I drink enough water during the day. I just said I didn't say throughout and I didn't say during. I said durout. I combined <laughs> both of them. That's what I literally just I, said. I I that kind of. I didn't. I kind of missed that. It's okay. Durout. Durout. Um, Durout. I thought you were saying drought. I drink them drought the day. Drought. Drought the day. Drought. Your the bangs day. look really nice. Do they? Yeah, there's some nice bangs. Should we get up tomorrow and do a little uh, little snip haircut on you? Just make me look good for my funeral? No, you're not. You're not. You're not gonna let you go. That okay. Soon. So where were we? So there's one we of two. Got... One of two oh, theories, yes, right? One of two wow. theories. So the first theory is that this was a animal disease, a disease that was passed from animal to animal. Bullshit. And it, uh, I'm just saying, it's yes. a, it's a theory. Yes. <clears throat> I like to play both. I like to play and both then, sides. And then, and then somebody ate the bat that ate the, the cat, cat that, that ate the mouse that, that ate the, 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 the snake the house, that ate the that, pangolin yeah. that that Jack built. So and the situation with that is one in which it somehow then passed to humans and then and so by the on way so they forth. are open again the wet market. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah. So, so and oh oh and that's the other thing I heard Bill Maher you know who Bill Maher mm-hmm. is right? yeah he came out last week and said and has been highly criticized for saying it that um that there's no reason why we shouldn't say that this virus started in China because in fact it did and what he said was that the reason we think it started was the wet markets and he said when is the world going to stop China? In essence, he didn't say it exactly like this, but when is the world going to stop China from allowing these people, just like we said, to continue to eat these things and create these viruses? You yeah, know, 100%. I mean, it's, it's, it kills millions and millions of people. 100%. I, so that's theory one, right? Is that somehow somebody ate something or there was shit in the air or whatever. Uh, shit in the air. <laughs> literal. Just they're like just cutting. Look, there's coronavirus oh, look, it's, in the it's air. Shit. Look, shit. Oh, it's it's. A- um, and you know, and that is a problem, right? Like you can't, and like we've said on this on this podcast before, is you can't have, you just can't do it anymore. You know, we live in this world now where it's like, and I understand that this had gone on for so long, but you can't have 
these wet markets. But China's not going to stop it. That's the problem. Well, there has to be some sort of... I'm hoping that the Trump administration will sue China. That's a, that's a, for that's a being big one, responsible. But well, they should have to, they should have to pay. There should be some, uh, repercussions to, to this. Yeah, I mean, this is worldwide. So, you know, to go back to what and you And they lied what, and they, and they let it become, they let people out of there that had, had had it, had been exposed to it. But anyway, go ahead. Well, to Theory go back to what two. you were saying with, with what Bill Maher said, right? I don't, think that there's any discrepancy as as to you know when we say this is the virus that started in china it's not like a derogatory thing no it's just it's like this is the virus started. that started in china exactly. right like if if um if someone got really sick from eating uh fake eggs that i made for breakfast here then we would people say, would say this, this is this where started at exactly. the my mom sandy podcast exactly. studio 1a <laughs> so the second theory <laughs> Is that one A? You have a bunch of scientists. This in place a, is, looks like a pigsty in too, a lab, a sweatshop. It's uh-huh. a, yeah. So you have a bunch of uh, scientists in a lab, and they're conducting stuff, and they're putting things together. And, and they're like, "Oh, let's try this." And they're like, "Let's try Ooh, this combination." Uh, right. And then they they trip, they fall, and then the test tube, and then the shit's all over. But and then they open the door, and it just and spreads it's just, right outside. It's like, it's like those old like Looney Tune cartoons. Well, they actually where, have two. They have they have one right there in Wuhan. They have a, a two what two labs. Oh, got it. Um, so they How have close one are in, the labs and the wet markets to each other. It's very like within miles. There's one that's within maybe like, they were like two like or a, three miles of the wet market, and then there's another one that's twenty miles down the down the road. Maybe they were sitting in the lab eating a. A McPangolin. A McPangolin sandwich. A McPangolin sandwich. And then a little you bit of. You suppose they put barbecue sauce on that? That they put the liquid, the liquid Corona. Corona. Oh, uh, there you go. Oh, yeah, the beer. No. <laughs> they said, oh, look, we created something. <laughs> like, it's shit. a Pangolin Corona. Like apparently, corona. when you mix Corona beer on our McPangolin sandwich <laughs> and you poop it out, something virus. happens. It creates a virus. But so I think that, I think that any way you cut it, right? I think that you have to recognize that this thing started in China because it did. Like it, it's, I don't feel like that's up for debate. I feel like that's just where no, it started. No, but somehow, but somehow, if you say that, you're like being racist, which is like stupid. It's like, come on, yeah. like you said. I mean, what are we going to call somebody racist for saying I mean, that look, the virus started at the at the uh, my, my mom's, mom's Sandy, Sandy podcast, podcast studio one A? I don't. And see, and the thing is, is that like, and I know that when this first started, when this first was spreading, I guess. Um, I know that there was like some, you know, things against, um, you know, the, the like a- a- Asian Americans or Asian people. Or, well, that's ridiculous. And uh, and yeah, that's and that's what I was going to say is that I this mean, is no, not. It's, it's I'm, like, like, I'm not sitting here saying I'm scared of Asian people. Like I I play hockey with a bunch of Asian people. Love Asian people. They're great. They have great food too. A lot of and there's well, a lot of. It has nothing to do. Issues. It has nothing. To, it doesn't even have anything to do with the people in China. I mean. I'm sure they're really nice people. Yeah. Except for the ones that eat the dogs at the wet market. Well, That's- I mean, I mean, that is weird. And, you know, maybe that should stop for sure. But, 100%. But having said that, I, you know, I, there's nothing wrong with the Chinese people. The, the blame I put on the Chinese government, the Chinese regime, regime, genes. regime, genes, the Chinese genes. genes. <laughs> like all of a sudden there's like a, like you can't buy you know, Chinese I, you genes. Know, you know, I went to Hong Kong once. I know. You bought a bunch of jeans. I bought some jeans. Hong Kong jeans. I bought a jean jacket. Hell yeah. Oshkosh Bagosh. No, no, no jean jacket for myself. I know it wasn't no, Oshkosh. Wasn't Oshkosh bagosh. No, that's a kid's brand. No, I didn't. So anyway, so yeah, so I think it's very interesting that the Chinese government is not letting anybody investigate the origins. Well, I mean, of fucking it's course like, they're not because course, they know I mean, that they like, know that they fucked up. Know, Whatever, wherever this thing came from, but they're just like, well, don't fun. We don't want because if it comes, if it gets investigated and it comes back that this is like this big fucked up thing. Then yeah, China's going to be held responsible. I think that they need to have like a world thing. Like they, what is the um, the NAFTA? Is it the NAFTA, the BAFTA? What's the thing? The tre- the National Treaty of Organizational People that don't they don't. What's the? Come on, don't look at me like I'm crazy. Uh, the United Nations. Okay. What, are you talking what about? is that? Is that a thing? Is it like a circle of people <laughs> that talk in a circle? Could be. I don't know. What are is the thing? What, like NATO? What's NATO? NATO is, uh, I don't know, allies. 
There's like some sort of thing Nationalism. where like we're all. I don't all, know what it stands for, but it's all the allies. That... Right. So there's like some sort of thing like we're all together. Yeah. Right. And they all and NATO, there's like and we yeah. have like and we have like laws that like you can't fucking. Yeah. Like like we couldn't just take someone out of something and like fucking torture them because that's against the fucking. Is it the Geneva Convention? I'm naming a whole bunch of things here. What am I talking about? The Geneva Convention is different. I think that's an agreement between countries on uh, how you treat prisoners. Okay. So we need to have some sort of like something. It would be like NATO. Okay. So we can make it some new thing. Maybe it's called the fucking McPangolin Convention. But we have a thing, right, where we get the fucking leaders together and we all say, hey – so we're not going to eat fucking weird things and we're not going to work on weird respiratory viruses in our lab. And everyone has to be a part of that. And if China doesn't want to be a part, then I think that we have to go and we have to say, well, China, then we can't do business with you anymore. And well, then all, and of, our, I, and all of our ally people well, who are involved in this well, convention that see, we've just made, they need to say that as well. Well, that's the problem is we can't even get – we can't even get half of America loves China. Oh, yeah, China, they're great. They're just terrific. I don't think there's anything wrong with China. I think yes, it is, there is. There's a lot wrong with China. It's run by a communist government, right? But it's not, and they and they're repressive and they violate human rights horribly. But it's, but it's not China. Christians, it's Muslims, the, the, re-education camps. It's not the country of China. It's the government of China. Right. That's what I'm saying. There's nothing wrong with with China. No, it's, it's just, the just government it's how China is being ran and the people that are running it and the higher ups that are covering shit up and not saying the truth about things and not being honest about, you know, and that's a problem. And and But don't you think don't you think that by saying, "Oh, we're not allowing anybody to investigate it," that already you've you've said, "Okay, we're guilty." <laughs> well, yeah, 100%. We fucked up. Right. It's like when I burned my name in the back seat and you're like, "Well, we're going to set up a, a thing to and I'm like, "No, we're not. No one's investigating this." And it was like, "Well, you sure did uh, it." We didn't don't you? have to investigate that. We see that. We see where Oh, Samantha did it, right? <laughs> Samantha burned Josh's name in the back seat of the car. I'm like, wow, Sam, you didn't even do your own name. She's like, well, I just love you. Uh, you know, I wanted you to get in trouble. Um, but yeah, I'm not. I mean, going back to what we were talking about, uh, it's. I, I feel like these are very tough times because everything is. Uh, I mean, to get like real, real here for a moment. I mean, it's like I feel like everything is so like ass backwards on what we know on what the normal is and. There's these, you know, these little things that I've taken for granted for so long. It's like just getting together with your friends or hanging out with your friends and or having a drink with your friends or dinner with your friends. And it's like not being able to do that stuff now, you know? I know. I know. I cried coming home in the car the other day. Yeah. I mean, look, like, I, you know, there's no, there's, there's no sense of normalcy. It's just, it's fucked up. Yeah. It's crazy. You know, and it's like, I think about, um, good friends of mine that I have not seen in, you know, at this point now, I mean, you know, because, you know, you don't – before this thing happened, it wasn't like we had some big thing where it was like, all right, everyone, make sure you, you guys got go a see week. each other. You got a week until, you this got is, a week you know. until we put you in quarantine. So it's like, you know, I mean, one of my one of my best friends who lives in Torrance, like I haven't seen him in – you know, my friend Mikey, like I haven't seen well, him you in – you can FaceTime, you know. Right, but – it's different. It's different, yeah. you know, and that that is the thing is, you know, I, I – On I, top of that, what do you have to talk about? You know, it's like I talked to what's-his-name and it's like, you know – I. You know, after it's like, well, what are you doing? Oh, nothing. What are you doing? Nothing. What are you, you know? Right. Well, it's like so. There's nothing to talk about that's really going on in your life. So it's like you know, you just you know having that contact with somebody is important. But again, but I think it's also it's weird to not because for me, like I've always been really big on like this. You know what I'm saying? Like you like, touching, like not not touching, but being there with someone. Creepy Joe. Creepy, creepy Joshy. Baby Josh. Want to come over here and sit on my lap, little lady? <laughs> but I th- I think that- I don't think so. Oh, that was good. Yeah. That was really good. Thank you. Yeah. Um, Why did you climb up this ladder and let me watch you? I don't think so. Uh, but I think that, like, it's this thing that the moments that we had of going to dinner with someone or, you know, saying, hey, let's get together and watch a movie, Right. And then you had something to talk about because you were right there and then you could like have snacks together or a drink together or a dinner together and you could talk about your day and you could talk about – like I find the same thing where it's like I'm talking to people or I'm FaceTiming with people and we're essentially just talking about either A, what we're hearing on the news or B, nothing because no one's doing anything. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean my big thing is I found this vegan donut spot in downtown LA 
and I'm and I've been like craving donuts. See, that's the other thing is that like when you have a craving for something, you can't just there's so much anxiety now. You know, I mean, it, it feels like there's it's so fucking heavy oh, it's... to have to like leave the house. Oh, listen, I'm telling you, <clears throat> I did it's like I said, I did my my um. Let Ralph's do your grocery shopping for you. You did a pickup. Pickup groceries today, and you know half the shit that I ordered wasn't there. And but on the on the plus side, how much fucking uh, spaghetti sauce do we have now? Yeah, I mean, I ordered t- I ordered two <laughs> two bottles of spaghetti sauce. They gave me six, six, all the same. Fucking six bottles. Hell of yeah, spaghetti Ralph! Sauce. Way to look out for us, huh? I know, and I'm like, and I oh, and then they charged me for eggs, which they didn't give me. It's like, what the fuck? You know, no eggs. No, I mean, I just feel like, and the other part of it was I didn't have a list of everything. I actually had two orders. I didn't make a list of what I ordered. Um, so I don't really know if they gave me the quantities of what I, like, I think they gave me more berries than they should have given me. I ordered raspberries and blueberries and blackberries. And I think they gave me too many. I don't know. I don't know. I fuck. Uh, but we just, have like a bear, just, we have a berry farm downstairs. Yeah, down though. in the garage, it's all coronavirus berries. But I, I just, you know, I just feel like, I, again, like you said, it's like this. I hate that I have to deal with this. I hate that I can't just walk into a grocery store, whatever fucking time of the day that I want to go, without my fucking mask on, and buy the groceries that I need. If I need two things of paper towels, one for my house, one for my mom's. Oh wow, look, I can do that. I hate that. I have to go to the store twice to get the paper products that I need for my mother's house and my house. That's fucking ridiculous because every time I go, I expose myself. And I'm going to tell you, if I get the coronavirus, I will not survive it. I'm going to tell you Wait, that are you right taking, now. Like, when you say you expose yourself, do you like take your clothes off to show them? I do. Okay, good. Just my boobs. Good. Perfect. Yeah, um, I don't want to expose the bottom part. Got that's, it. That's got for, it. That's, that's for special That's for people. what's his name. Stop it. Stop it now. Um, <laughs> not anymore. No, not, not here, not now. No, not now. Um, yeah, I mean, look, I agree with you. You know, it is that thing that it's these, are you itchy? I got an itch on my back. I can't reach. You want me to get it? No. <laughs> okay. Um, that you can't just like, what, what I was saying was like, you know, I had this like craving for donuts. Yeah, like, I was just like, just I was like, give me, your car give me two and... dozen donuts to have. Right. Will but it's they, like, can they, will they deliver? Not from downtown LA to Redondo Beach. Out of your fucking, there's not enough. I mean, I could, could probably, you Uber I could probably it? wave a couple hundred bills in front could of you them. Uber, but... Could you Uber somebody to pick it up for you? <sighs> no, because I don't even think, I mean, they're, they're doing deliveries up in that, in that way, but I don't, you know, I don't know how you can, typically there's like a, how would you? What would you do with two dozen donuts? Fucking eat them. Oh, that'd be so good. <laughs> but the thing about it is really? that there's this anxiety about exactly what you're saying about going. Everything's different, right? So it's like, okay, well, if I leave to go get the donuts, where, I drive, where am I going to park? Then right, I got to so put my not, mask it's not, but it's, on. Then uh, I got to run 100%, into but the place. Do I call ahead? Do is I call there, and say I'm doing there, a, a there, pickup? Is, is there a big line outside that's everybody standing six feet apart? That's what I'm saying. I don't know. You know, so there's all this. It's like it's like we're living in like an unknown world. And and we're somebody living... told me. I guess it was maybe it was what's his name was telling me that that's how they were doing Trader Joe's and and somewhere else. Smart. All the gro- yeah, all the grocery. Stores. I know, but I, I know. I'm like, well, that's the way I. I mean, I don't know. I've only been to. Ralph's and they've been doing that all along. I went to, to Trader Joe's and Whole Foods uh, probably about two weeks ago now. Two weeks ago. Yeah. And that was this, that was the same thing for both of them. Stand outside. Yeah. You know, six feet apart. Six feet apart, and then there, you know, somebody comes out, someone goes in. You yeah. know, um, when you're standing in line, you know, there's only so many cash registers open, and you're standing far away from, you know. Yeah. Wait, uh, Ralph's they have footprints on the floor now where you have to stand yeah. six but feet apart. But it's it's this whole thing where like. This has now become this like new normal that nobody knows anything about. And it sucks. Like it, it's, it's, there's tons of anxiety about having to leave the house. There's things where like, you know, I mean, I haven't, I haven't eaten out in a month longer, probably longer. So it's like, you know, I don't feel comfortable eating out. We had, we talked about the thing on air about the whole Wiener Schnitzel thing. Like I don't feel comfortable with you going to Wiener Schnitzel, you know? So it's like, you know, it's trying to like have some sort of normalcy in this time that we're living, and and we can't because it's it's 
it's different now you know it's and everybody and, and everybody's scared you know it's all scared yes of, it is thank you yes we are thank you um did you say hi i just noticed we have a message on the phone Maybe it's from the Chewy guy. He's like, hey, I'm invisible. I'm dropping the box off. You're not going to see me on the ring. It's FedEx. Um, FedEx calling. So anyway, I don't know. You know, it's like I, I so badly wanted to like get in my car, drive and go get donuts. But then I'm just like, you know, then I and then you and then for me, I second. I'm like, well, is that a good idea? Should I go get donuts? Maybe I should not get donuts. Maybe I should just stay here. Maybe I should teach myself how to make my own donuts. Well, it's very scary. You know, we talked about the, you know, my sleep schedule is fucked completely fucked oh, and I, I made a post on instagram last night and at like 6 15 this morning and and it was good i mean i actually got like a lot of people who responded and said that you know they're the same thing you know that their their schedule's off and that they're a lot of anxiety and you know i don't think that a lot of this for me at least is stemming from just that like my schedule's off because i've you know i've i've you're bored you're not yeah you're not, doing not doing anything. anything you know and there's anxiety and there's depression and there's you know um and it's like, I don't know. I don't know how you cope with that with everything being uh, so different now, you know, because it is. I mean, it's it's a weird, weird world and weird time right now, you know? Yes. Which last week we asked if anyone wanted to be on the podcast. We've gotten no responses. No one wants to call in and talk to us for 41 minutes and 41 seconds. Is that how long we've been talking? For, well, now 41, 41 minutes and I think we're ready to get off. 50 seconds. Are we almost done then? Uh, do we want to talk about my health? Yes, I think I'm having health issues. I wasn't going to talk about it. I was going to keep that under wraps. but uh, We can talk about it next week if I'm still alive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, i just not feeling well. But not COVID. Not no, COVID. not COVID. Just um, possibly heart issues or... Um, what am I going to do with some, that? It was a microphone, a smaller microphone. Uh, Possibly some heart issues or maybe something going on with my stomach. Maybe cancer. I don't know. What the fuck? Who knows? It's like nowadays when you go to the doctor and they say, they say, oh, well, this is, you know, oh, this, this thing is low. Well, what does that mean? Well, could be nothing. Could be cancer. You know? Is that what they say? Kind of, yeah. That's not very nice. No. I just feel like the whole world is. <clears throat> so anyway, yeah, I don't want to, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do, but anyway, that's don't, don't let's not alarm the listeners here. You know, <coughs> excuse me, that's my Corona cough. That was a little dry. I I'll try to wet it down next Thank time. Thank you. Thank you. Is Get that, a little phlegm. A little mucus in there. I have phlegm. Oh, I don't know okay. why it came out dry. It sounded a little dry. I mean, listen to my nose. Here, do you want me to take your temperature? No, yeah, with the microphone. No, I don't think so. I'm not into that. Okay. No, um, the temperature taken. Thing. So eventful week, I guess. Yeah, I'm dying. My car got stolen. We're all in quarantine. Life's just one big. You're not fucking... dying yet. We don't know that you're dying. No, <laughs> but maybe I don't know. Maybe I should call the the state attorney tomorrow and have him put together a trust. Oh, I mean, you should have called the, the state attorney years ago, probably, but. Yes, um, but I didn't have the money, and I still don't have the money. <laughs> well, I I'm going to tell you, if I die, I don't know what the fuck's going to happen to my mother. She's going to be right there behind you. Well, no, but I mean, who's going to write her? Who's going to write her checks? Who's going to pay her bills? I mean, there's nobody else on the checking account for her. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, it's 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 going to be a real problem. It's going to be one of those things that I just yeah. can't believe God would let that happen. I mean, please take my mother first so that I can at least, you know, have that taken care of. Please, God, please. God, if you're do you if think you're he, do you think he subscribed? <laughs> I don't think he listens. <laughs> he's got, he's got I don't his, think he listens to the podcast. He's got his fucking podcast or his, his, his <laughs> iPhone. iPhone he's there, just like but it's got it's his like really it's on. really advanced, you know? Yeah. He's just like Oh, it's Tuesday. Oh, Must be love. time for my, my mom's mom Sandy. Sandy. God, I love this tune that they open up with. <laughs> do, 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 do. He's, like, he's like, hey, Jesus, come on over here. I want you to listen to this funny part. Listen to this outtake that they posted. Uh, yeah, well, I, I, I'm not sure he's listening to the podcast, but. God's like, oh, Jesus, you know what your name would be plural? Jesus, I. Oh, it's great. Jesus, I. Jesus, I. Or Jesus, I. Jesus, I. Jesus, I. Um, Jesus, I. 
Yeah, I mean, you know, fuck, like, I don't, you know, I don't know. Sounds I mean, like an exercise. Hey, Susai. So you're going to want to follow up with five hey, Susai's <laughs> and um, make sure you go all the way down when you're doing them. That's right. <laughs> and then do a, a repetition of. You're going to do three reps. Three sets. Three sets of reps. Uh, Twelve uh, reps. <laughs> three reps of 12. <laughs> Whatever. And make sure, again, that you, you're going to want to bring the leg I'm all the way up on this. I'm curious as to who our, our hey, phone Susai's. messages from. Hey, should we listen to it right now? Not on air. No, Nobody will can, know. Yeah, you know, you know, it can be like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> All right. So anyway, yeah, life's just a, what did my father used to say? Life is a barrel of monkeys. No, God, what did he used to say? I used to always ask him, how are you doing? And he would say, pretty good for an old guy. Yeah. And then towards the end, he, uh, before he passed, he was always, it was more like, I'm okay. Yeah, it like miss, changed like he like miss my dad yeah but then you know but he wouldn't fuck miss lisa me. too where's my lisa <laughs> yeah she's she's i mean look you got to imagine that everyone's having a great time up there they're not, waiting for me not having no, to stop they're like come on sandy come no, on up <laughs> no but they're not having to deal with all of this down here you know maybe they have coronavirus in heaven <laughs> oh god what a cruel joke that would be yeah, i know oh god but you die I know, people i know and, and that's the worst part is that he was just telling me about a friend of yours who's who's had a friend who's lost their mother from this coronavirus and when you start hearing that it's killing people i mean it's like weird when you hear the numbers on the news because it's not personal but when you start hearing that, you know, so-and-so's, so-and-so has it or so-and-so's mother died from it, then, you know, then it becomes a very real thing. And it's it's very scary, you know? It's like, yeah, I mean, seriously, I th- like, this is how, you know, this is how we're going to go out? Yeah, I mean, I think like that there is that thing where... Fucking Chinese virus? Even when I was talking to my, my friend Mikey, um, I know he doesn't listen, but shout out, Mikey, um, is that... Why doesn't he listen? He's a busy guy. Even now, he's busy. I mean, you'd think people would have all this time on their hands. They'd want something, something to listen he's, I, to. I don't, I, Mike's not really like. I don't know if Mike is like a podcast guy. He's not a podcast. Yeah, guy. Yeah. yeah. But you know, you think that you think that throughout this, uh, that uh, one of the things he had said was, "We're going to see this affect, you know, like us, like our friends. You know, like, like that was something me and him were talking about, and it's true." You know, this is going to hit home for a lot of people that are that are close to us and are close by. And it's just the nature of what this is, you know, and uh, it sucks. You know, it sucks that we have to do that. We have to deal with this. You know, it sucks for everybody, you know. So, yeah, not good. Anyway, um, yeah, we should. I don't know. Maybe we should do something else besides talk about coronavirus. Let's do something like. uh, What do you think of my sweatpants? These aren't new, but do you like this color on me? Yeah, it's kind of different. They're brownish. Yeah. I put them on when I first got them. I was like, oh, I got flesh colored sweatpants. Yeah. No, only if you were super tan. <laughs> They're not really flesh colored. A nice try. Oh, I like the ballerina pointed toes. I have a good toe point. Look at this. Actually, you don't because you need when you point your toes, you need to turn the toes oh, out. Okay. That's the way you point your toes. No, turn it that way out. There you go. Perfect. Imagine one of these bad boys hitting you in the face 60 miles an hour. Boom. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, Boom. that's not a turned out. That's like a, Boom. that's like a, um, that's not a dancer's point. It's a, it's a fighter's. That's a fighter's fighter. Kick. Fuck yeah, it yeah. is. Fuck yeah. I'll beat yeah, that coronavirus out of you. Sideways, the thing. <laughs> you can't wait. <laughs> we doing that tonight or what? Or should, we plan that for, should we plan that for tomorrow? All right, let's. Uh, so, what do we have planned for the rest of the week? Anything? Let, nothing. Let's oh, go. I'm going to the grocery store this week just to let you know. I figured out Ralph's can't really do my shopping you for me. Through. No, I think you had to wait. I think you had to wait another week. Um, all right, so let's pick. Let's pick up all our conversations next week because I feel like we've kind of ran. We ran the yeah, gauntlet. But I think next week we should do something like a true crime thing or something. We should do something else. I, I mean, this. Crime, you want to do a puzzle on? We could do a puzzle during the podcast. Like a puzzle where you put the pieces yeah, together. Yeah, just silent. <laughs> oh, I found one. I'm like, <laughs> oh look, what is it? A, isn't it corners? Is it edges? Corners? It's, yeah, yeah. What is it? Edges, corner, insides. Is that what it is? I don't know. <laughs> so like all you like so the listeners all they hear is this. They're like.
<laughs> they're not going to hear anything. They won't even hear us scraping it along the. Uh, All right. Well, we'll come table. up with something fun to talk about next week, unless I mean, there's some you know big coronavirus news. Oh, I wanted to show you this really quickly, and then we'll we'll wrap this up. There was this thing I saw. I forget where I saw it, where I got it from, but it was this thing that basically talked about um, uh, how to tell if you have COVID nineteen. Symptoms of the novel coronavirus can vary a lot uh, if an infected person experiences them at all. So it has like a picture of like a, a guy, right? Yeah, yeah. And then and so it has like these things, right? So around the face, it says medical masks, um, and it sa- and then on the other side it says fever. Right. Yeah. Uh, and then it says disp- disposable uh, antiseptic wipes. Right. And then on the other side, it says head pain or throat pain. And then it says uh, no contact. And then it and then on the other side, it says like shaking or chills. What I thought was interesting, though, and this came from like a website or something, but all the the emblems or the little the little drawings next to it, yeah. they all make sense. Except the one that says no contact is a picture of a bat. What the fuck is that? And I'm like, what does that mean? Well, of course we're not going to make contact with a bat. Like, we're not going to eat them. It's like, and, hello. And, and to be honest with you, we hope we never run into one on the street, right? Isn't that, that strange? Yeah. We're like, in, how to tell if you have COVID-19. If you ate a bat, oh, you look might at this, have it. Look at this handsome guy. That was a Snapchat filter. I took a photo of oh, the other Oh, that's cute. Right? I like that. You should post that on Instagram. We'll see. Um, Josh right. is a rock star. Oh, this was funny. No, you should uh, color the beard. Too. Do you remember the um, remember in Beetlejuice? You've seen Beetlejuice. Do, do, do. Yeah, um, my yeah how many times okay. have I seen? So remember when they die, they go off the bridge and they wake up the next morning, and on their on their table is the handbook for the recently deceased, mm-hmm. right? So this was a there's like these internet memes, yeah. right? So this was one of them. It said, uh, "Coughed before I went to bed last night. Woke up to this on my coffee table." <laughs> recently deceased i love it <laughs> so i mean look there's at least been some fun you know because i think that a little it's, bit of humor yeah it's good to keep some of the laughter and some of the things and so we don't try to smile totally a nuts. little bit and be there for each other and tell each other that you care about each other and that you love each other because this is strange times uh and listen to your favorite podcast my mom sandy and again if you guys want to come on and talk to us we're opening the phone lines all you guys need is a skype and you guys, we can do a little Skype call. So that's right. Um, We'd love to have you. Yeah, shoot us an email, my mom sandy podcast at gmail dot com, or find us on the Instagram at my mom sandy podcast. We have new episodes every Tuesday, uh, as long as the COVID doesn't get us and my mom doesn't die. And uh, yeah, and we need to hurry and get off because it's time to go for a nap again. <laughs> and now we're going to take a little bit of a nap, not together, separate naps. And separate then, naps. Um, <clears throat> so, but thank you guys all for listening. Stay safe. Stay at home, please, unless you need to get donuts or groceries or donuts and groceries. Yeah, don't go to Wiener Sitzel though. No, dangerous. And uh, and yeah, again, thank you. And just you know, again, tell everyone how that you care about each other and that you love each other and be there for each other through this time. And if someone needs to talk or if you think that someone is like struggling with something. Uh, take a little time out of your day to just make sure they're okay because it is weird times and I think that that stuff's important. So, And if you see my 93 Honda wagon, it's green. <laughs> it has a fantastic cappuccino it's sticker fantastic on the back. fantastic cappuccino on the back window. Give me a call. Let me know because I'm really afraid it's going to go to impound somewhere. You know, the funny part is that they're not um, they're not ticketing a lot of places now. Like you can, like they're not ticketing for street parking. You, you can't because people aren't going anywhere. I know, but that's what I'm saying. So my car could be parked on some street if for, you guys see someone, for months without you, without anybody ticketing it or impounding it. If you guys see someone driving that 93 Honda wagon with the fantastic, the green, with the fantastic cappuccino stick on the back, take them out of the car and just drop kick them across the face. Really? And say, how dare you steal my mom Sandy's car? Do you have any idea what kind of fucking podcast this woman has? I know, fuck. Anyway, if you see my car, uh, shoot, shoot, shoot us, us an, an email. email. <laughs> and you guys can make it anonymous. We won't yeah. say your name on the air. We won't, we won't uh, turn you into the police for stealing it. Cause I'll be we, like, because we know you're probably dead. I'll be like, someone's name who rhymes with Liter just saw the wagon <laughs> <laughs> parked over near his home. It's parked over by on Grant by Don't someone even say. named Liter's house. <laughs> Someone named we'll Lodman. See, we'll, we'll, just, see, we'll see if Lodman even. Oh, Lodman does listen. Yeah, Lodman's a listener. We don't know if Le, we don't know if Leader listens. Uh, leader listens. Oh, apparently, someone down in Orange County 
whose name rhymes with crying, <laughs> saw a wagon that looks very much like yours. Oh, good old crying. All right. I think we've had enough. By the way, we still don't know what my cousin Brian does. Mom, sign us off. Okay. You guys be safe out there. Uh, let's uh, beat the coronavirus another week. We'll see you next week. All right. Very good.